it's gone. That is, today we're checking in with V-Shoujo's Iron Mouse, the most watched VTuber in the first week of September in all of the world, now newly with 1 million followers on Twitter, 2 million followers on Twitch, and over a million subscribers on her official YouTube channel. That being her main YouTube channel, while she also had this secondary YouTube channel for her VODs. This channel now no longer available on YouTube. All video links reading the video is no longer available because the YouTube account associated with this video has been terminated. Iron Mouse currently running her third subathon and addressing this on stream. I'll be okay. I'm just like really upset. Apparently my VOD channel got copy strike like three times in a row. So it's gonna get deleted because I don't want to dispute it because I don't want to uh, submit my personal information to whoever it is. So uh, I think my VOD channel is gonna be deleted. Yep. So sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, like I don't really understand what's happening because like V Shoujo like attempted to reach out to them <clears throat> to resolve it and they've ignored us and no one has reached out back, even though V Shoujo has reached out on my behalf and they don't want to answer. So uh I don't want to give my personal information out to a stranger to dispute a claim. So my channel is gonna get deleted. Tweet at YouTube. I don't want to dispute the claim because I I don't want to put out my personal information like i'm not gonna dispute it i'm just gonna accept that my channel is gonna get deleted <clears throat> i'm not gonna put my safety in danger because somebody doesn't want to answer to somebody else and would rather have my personal information i just think you know if a company reaches out to you be like hey what the f is going on da -da -da -da, can we resolve this you know at least like at least answer back that would be very kind but um fortunately no one is answering back so uh i'm just gonna accept that my vod channel is gonna get deleted and i'm really sad about it and i'm probably I'm gonna cry about it for 15 minutes in the bathroom so i'll be right back i talked to my my youtube manager i talked to youtube already we already talked to youtube well i didn't uh the show just talked to youtube on my behalf and they said the only thing that can be done is to dispute it that's what they said as here we have Save Point Cafe tweeting as everyone is aware, multiple strikes have been made against the official Iron Mouse VODs channel on YouTube. Vishojo staff are working to find a resolution to the matter. We kindly ask everyone to continue supporting Mouse and not start any witch hunts. It is a very complicated matter and negative posts will only bury the efforts being made officially. We understand your concern. Rest assured, we will find a home for the VODs so that the precious family can continue to enjoy Mouse's past streams. Thank you. As he desu here with, so as Iron Mouse talked about it on stream yesterday, guess I can too. Iron Mouse VODs is getting deleted as it has three copyright strikes. Two and a half years of work, over a thousand VODs, it was a good ride. Sad we couldn't make it to a hundred thousand subscribers though. More info, V Shoujo got involved, YouTube has been talked to, etc. But the only thing to be done is to dispute, which requires personal information, which Mouse understandably doesn't want to share with a random third party. Nor have the claimers replied to contact or retract them. Before it's lost forever, this is what we achieved together. Over 98,000 YouTube subscribers, 1,300 plus videos, and over 12 million views. As Desu adding, and that's that, it's been a good ride. Then further updating, it seems people are really misunderstanding the situation. There are no evil people trying to claim her content as theirs to hurt her, or trying to fish for her IRL name to expose it. And I do not want people misconstruing my words and tweets to feed that narrative. Reaction content is risky. You watch stuff you don't own, most people are cool with it, and most fall under fair use. And most people just claim the ad revenue and we can use YouTube editor to cut it out of the video. But some press the quote-unquote remove immediately, which results in a strike. And lastly, we have update three. Mouse seems more confident in the channel being reinstated, confirms deleted channels aren't gone gone, and confirms she had a legal team on the case. Mouse being joined on stream during the sub on by Siren and giving an update here. They took my channel down. That's okay, don't worry. <laughs> okay. That's okay, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, guys. We showed you on the case. Okay. Thankfully, if they take it down, they told me that they could bring it back easily, so it's fine. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. 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 And we showed you we trust. Yeah, I trust we showed you. 
Yeah, with my life. Watch out. Yeah, Hang they on. deleted my channel, but uh, apparently, like, oh. even if they delete your channel, like, your VODs aren't, like, gone. Like, the videos aren't gone. They're still there, mm -hmm. and they can oh, reinstate good. the channel. Situation's being taken care of. Uh, I have a legal, legal team on the case. And now further criticizing YouTube is FaceConnect's Tenma, remarking copyright system is an effing joke. YouTube telling me people use my content illegally, but it shows other people playing Wukong with no correlation to my content. This system is so easy to abuse and it shouldn't be this way. Now it makes sense as I was wondering why I get copyright claimed from unknown channels on simple gameplays. Because you Fs are abusing it. I found your secrets. Adding to this is Taiga, aka Bungo Taiga, having earlier in the summer having two of their YouTube channels terminated. Taiga now moving forward with legal options with a lawyer as this past weekend YouTube did respond to this VTuber saying they only assist with quote unquote partnered YouTube channels. This despite Taiga having a partnered YouTube channel before it was terminated. And now working around YouTube logic is V4 Mirai's alias a no no stating recently one of my ASMR videos had to be taken down just after hitting 250 50,000 views. However, I have finally remixed it so it would be a little safer on YouTube. Iron Mouse now continuing on with the subathon, now surpassing over 66,666 subscriptions while also debuting this look, that model now being added to the Iron Mouse Model Index website. Mouse also revealing new merchandise, including a new Apari plush keychain, while further moving along with the Iron Mouse VTuber Academy. Set to run its finale during TwitchCon, VGen tweeting out we're so proud to support mouse our artists and the community along with aspiring vtubers of iron mouse's vtuber academy in this first challenge 14 contestants will be narrowed to the top five who will get 200 us dollar vgen credits caleb hiles also tweeting out shout out to my cohorts girl dm iron mouse and will stetson for joining me on this one that being a rendition of shikairo days as now returning back is v shoujo's michi mochivi revealing in her chat for the first time in her life she can actually afford her medical bills all on her own and not relying on her parents, further describing that she is also now wearing a back brace and had been teasing her return with this. Later tweeting out this face and saying evil. This coming by way of dog VTuber Susu Awu. The Shiba alien tweeting out the surprise is out. I had drawn and rigged Michi Mochibi's new Jared model. The fun thing is he can turn 360 degrees while this is actually a live 2D model. Michi saying in return Turn massive thanks to Susu for being so insanely talented and sweet in making our Jared doll. Send her all your love right now or else. Well, lastly today with V Shoujo, we have Fruit updating us here with Out Now. I have covered the summoning by Sleep Token with the combined efforts of Little V's amazing sound and Leosaurus's stunning visuals. Little V tweeting out, here's the guitar solo for the summoning cover I did with Fruit. Excuse the mess. While Leosaurus Rex added, I designed, modeled, textured, animated, and rendered Fruit's RTX on model. Fruit also tweeting out, join me for Apricot's Grand Prix event. That being set for September 15th at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Promising new outfits, overlays, and merch. Well, also today, we have an update regarding the Sejam Slam Street Fighter 6 event. The finals being ran yesterday and allowing at least two teams with VTubers on them to move on to the Grand Finals to be held at TwitchCon. Niji Sanji English's Victoria Brightshield being on Team Shine who are moving on. Vivi saying, I'm really happy that I got to participate in the Sejam Slam and be on Team Shine. All my teammates are super amazing people. Giving very special thanks to other VTubers like Fumi, a Space Gardener VTuber, and Kenan Yanagi, a spectacular duck detective from Pixel Link. Kenan reacting with, I never thought in my wildest dreams I would ever get to participate in an event like this. It's literally been a dream come through, as whose team is also going to TwitchCon is Dogie Birds, being on the Brian F team. Doki after the event saying every tournament needs a heal and I'm happy I was able to play that part. Thank you to my team for putting me in their backpack for the finals day and being able to go to TwitchCon. Now I can decompress and relax. Adding thought about it but I'm definitely going to take a break for real this week. The tournament arc has left me very tired and I want to make sure I don't burn out. I'm actually going to make sure I don't say yes to extra streams. Made Mint replying with Ite and Doki Bird replying with no. Doki Bird on stream stating she 
is 50-50 whether she will be attending TwitchCon or not. It being a very big challenge for a number of VTubers to actually attend the event in person and still, of course, remain anonymous. The organizers of Say Jam Slam stating they don't believe that TwitchCon could facilitate a net connection that would actually be satisfactory. And so it is potentially likely that all the VTubers on the ongoing teams will be subbed out with IRL players. Further along, we have Niji Sanji English's Dopio Drop Scythe, tweeting out some beachside art, saying this is a gift for all scythe kicks to celebrate the end of the summer. The artist of that work, Meow, saying, I drew a summer beach illustration for Dopio Drop Scythe. As a fan, I'm very excited to have this opportunity. I hope you'll like it. However, other fans took issue with this artwork, noticing this unknown figure was included, but taking issue that Dopio's wave mate, Kotokotori Hime, was not included in the illustration. That artist going on to say, hi guys, I drew a beach illustration commissioned by Dopio and I saw a lot of reactions by way of tweets. Among them, I'd like to address the controversial one. I drew Ren, Meliko, and Ver as his friends. The one remaining person simply drew Mob, that meaning a mob character. He's not even a character in a game, not my OC, not a liver. He's just Mob. That's why his face is blurry. The reason I drew that Mob in the background is really simple. I just needed to fill the background. I actually plan to draw one or two more mobs behind Ren, but I ran out of time and it was a bit difficult. It was not my intention, but I'm sorry it seems this caused a misunderstanding. There were also a lot of reactions to Meliko. I referenced her character sheet, but maybe I didn't do her justice. I'm not an illustrator for a living, just an amateur fan artist. My illustrations are the result of my best efforts. So please stop the who is that directed at Mob. I regret it. Then adding another tweet. I received a DM from someone. It was about why Dopio's beach illustration left out Kodaka. You were being too negative and mistaken about something. Dopio's illustration doesn't have to include every member of the unit. And I'd like to clarify that the liver in the background didn't have any input from Dopio. Dopio just told me, quote, I want to give a beach illustration as a gift before summer ends for the scythe kicks. I leave the details of the illustrations to you and the illustration simply reflected my opinion as an artist and he is not involved. I don't understand why I need to clarify this, but I'm tweeting it because I think it's something that could be misunderstood by anyone who thinks that an illustration should include all members of X Soleil. If you have anything to say about this, DM me and stop with the unknown complaints directed at him. And please don't attack me with your own inferences because Mob is not Hex. The DM requester told me to tweet to explain this. That's all I have to say about that. That is next up. We move on to Hall Live English's Nanashi Mume. Hall Live now releasing this new merch, that being for fan named Charms. The charm for the Nanashi Mume fans reading as Moomans. Mume replying, they will fix mine. Do not not fret. As now on the Hall Live production official shop, we can see it as the correct name of Who Mans. Also, of course, included in that are the Dead Beats, bringing us over to Hall Live English's Mori Calliope. Revealing this brand new outfit, that being of a rock and roll bunny girl, Hall Live Indonesia's Crazy Ollie seeing that and saying, she can run me over with a car and I'd say sorry for dirtying her wheels, then have her spit at my disgusting self and I'll catch it and save her. <laughs> as uh, right after that, we have had finally the music video release for Go Getters. This music video now being anticipated for over two months now. It got bells of Hall Live English remarking the way I squealed into my pillow when I saw this. Why is she so cool? How is she so cool? That's my sis right there. As just after three and a half days of release, this now has one million views. That's right, one million views on the music video now. Callie saying it's all thanks to you guys. I didn't even know if this music video would ever see the light of day. I wish so long, but it was worth it. Thank you so much. Kelly also now appearing in one of Japan's biggest music magazines and saying thanks for having me. So while Hall Live Production English would announce an original music video release, that being for Narissa Ravencroft's In My Feelings, while Hall of Justice's Raura would announce a new cover song, that being for her new release of Echo. Also surprising many was Galgura. This hollow EN talent here with Potion Seller, Give Me Your Strongest Potion, revealing my 2.0 tonight. You were later to taking shots and posting them here and saying Gooba 2.0, extra fishy. Numerous chumbuds saying they are actually alarmed at how good the rigging for Gura is now. The shark girl also receiving merchandise from Vault Room. This merch being restocked and then immediately sold out all over again. Bring us over to Hall Live English's Fua Moko. Mokoko tweeting out on September 7th, Little Sister Day means it's Mokoko Day, right? Make sure to treat your little sister well, okay? Bow bow. Fua Moko quote retweeting, Joy Sound and saying, we hope you sing Born to be Bowdle. 
lots and lots when you go to karaoke, Sirens 2. And further quote retweeting with, your eyes and ears belong to Fuomoko only, right? Bow, bow. That being related to the Hall Live, the four types of extreme love voice pack. Those four types being Sundere, Kudere, Dere Dere, and Yandere. The vast majority of talents here being Yandere, including Fuomoko, adding, have you ever wanted to encounter something dangerously sweet? Yandere Fuomoko awaits in this new voice pack. Gigi Murin here with, who wants to hear me be a Yandere as a little bedtime story? Narissa Ravencroft with Ara Ara. Wouldn't you like to hear my extreme love voice pack? I had a lot of fun with my script, so I hope you'll enjoy it as well. Shiori being a part of the Dere Dere group and adding in honor of the newly released voice pack to balance out my sweetness, here's a Yandere video. Koseki Biju adding, hey Pebble, you're mine, right? The members of Hollow Avent now making their Hollow Gra debuts, including Bibu. This rock hard VTuber being joined by Fuomoko's and others from Hollow Live Production, cross collabing with World of Tanks Blitz, while Bibu is also here with one year of Grindstone. That's right, it's been one year of collabs between herself and Hollow Live Indonesia's Isla Kowalski, totaling 47 collabs in the last year and 28 of them being one on one. Further along, we have Hollow Myth Takanashi Kiara, preparing for the four year anniversary of Hollow Myth and saying, My anniversary merch will not be coming out this week, so no worries about needing to be ready or anything. I don't think I am doing limited this time anyway, if I remember correctly. And further tweeting out, 3D Mahler wanted for a music video project of mine, I'm looking for someone who can model a model with physics and all in a short time frame. I have a naked character base for it that was made in Maya. I think we need MMD in the end. I have a three view flat design reference for the clothing. If you can work with the base, you just do the clothing. If you can't, then you'll have to remake it from scratch. As also weeks earlier, Made Mint was here with Hello Fellow Kids. I'm in search of a 3D modeler. It will be open starting mid to late September. Please comment if you are available and interested with working with a ghost maid. And very quickly, we're turning to Hollow Cure, showing us a preview of Kanata, likely to be included in an update coming up next month in October, whereas soon releasing on September 12th by Hollow Indie is the adventure of Nina My Eninus, available to be wishlisted now on Steam. Hollow Live English this past week, making waves through Ignomatic Recollection, aka En Reco, In Reco, In Rico, Starmine here with We Helped with the in game system, server system, and item and NPC model production. Sakai adding, Thank you for your hard work. It took five months to create the worlds. I made 15 worlds in total, plus a few others in Minecraft. When I was told about this project, I said, quote, It's fine. I'm the best, slash, I'm the strongest. Although still, I was a bit worried, saying to myself, Are you really going to be able to do this alone? I am glad I managed to do it, and it was a good experience. Let's do it again someday. Stematology here with the finale relationship chart, including the marriages, side chicks, and big pink cat connections. Numerous storylines running throughout, including, of course, that crazy fauna mart situation. Recapped here in this totally legitimate Moist Critical video. Fauna mart, of course, being always totally legitimate. Imiko giving us this fauna mart 1996 VHS commercial footage. Whereas who was perhaps turning the most heads was Gigi Murin, aka The Humblest, role-playing as Jonathan with a G. Role-play on day six, capturing the hearts and minds of thousands upon thousands of viewers and leading us over to Punished Jonathan alongside a seven-part Knight's Tale illustration by Nami. Others outside of Hollow Ian getting wrapped up in the drama, including Anya Melfisa. As also watching on firsthand was Iris, who during the last day almost became Entiaris, but spoiler alert ahead, we actually got the happy ending. Racer here with the Jonathan, Gigi, and Ame reunion, whereas Bay, who was only present on the first and last day would tweet out who the F is Jonathan. Gigi Murren getting such a spotlight from this event that currently her acrylic stand is actually sold out. The only one of the 19 of the acrylic stands that are currently sold out. This also including her metal charm as her and many other members are having their collection cards sold out. Among the numerous other storylines was the corruption arc with Koseki Biju. This all culminating in its own showdown. And while while absent from the finale, Oro Crony also made her appearance. Gigi Murren here with her giant statue saying, True queen, here she stands in all her glory. Huzzah! Raura even going on to tweet out her marriage proposal to Crony, and that proposal being successful. Chibi even going on 
on to add up the total run times of the included members, stating there are nearly 400 hours of actual content to be watched. This marking the end of chapter one, with Iris herself stating that she believes the next chapter will come in a few months' time. And now today we turn to Nichi Sanji. Now formally announcing the Nichi Sanji Music Festival 2024 event to be held on December 20th, 21st, and 22nd, saying there will be over 150 livers and over 100 units involved, and adding online streaming viewing ticket details will be announced at a later date. This originally three years ago being a liver created event entirely for free, then taken over by Niji Sanji proper last year and made into a quasi paid event, but Niji Sanji is offering quite a bit of it to be watched for free still. Niji Sanji English official account tweeting out that the opening parts of days one and two along with all of day three will be available for free on YouTube. Niji Sanji also taking the three free parts from last year and making it into a one hour long video to be watched. Niji Sanji English also adding Niji Sanji Ian Livers will also be performing. Performers potentially like Niji Sanji English's Reimu Endo. Ghost of the Darkness now showing off this new outfit saying I was so nervous I couldn't sleep before the stream but I'm so glad it's finally out. Thank you for spoiling me so much and loving me and tee hee I'm a happy ghost queen. Reimu now giving us this 4.0 reference sheet of the Lace Nightwear Ghost. As it was also looking a little different now is Kodoka Torihime. Having been on a three-week hiatus and back again, revealing this new outfit, Ian cross JP equals kimono made bunny. Ramo Indo saying, I just woke up and Jesus take the wheel. I'm not strong enough. And Alouette remarking, she's so, so cute. Alongside Ver Vermillion remarking, Haya, why you hot la? Sanji now preparing for birthday sales for both Ryoma Baronwart and Rosamie Lovelock. Sales for these goods going up on this week. Weekend. As who is also celebrating her birthday this weekend is Niji Sanji JP talent Inoue Toko, releasing yet another cover alongside this new look for herself and her mascot, saying, I'm happy to be celebrating my birthday with everyone. Let's make it a day that everyone can enjoy together. As who is also celebrating is Fuwa Monato, now being congratulated by Niji Sanji themselves for now officially hitting 1 million subscribers. Fuwa saying, thank you for helping me reach 1 million subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me up to this point. It's been almost five years since my debut. I wonder how many more years I can remain as Fuwa Monato. I don't know what the future holds, but for now, I want to keep living. Let's live together. This Niji Sanji Japan liver clearly awaiting their gold play button to arrive where they'll happily be able to display it in their own home. We also, again, have the Niji Sanji Christmas wear now available for sale. That's right. It was Christmas in August and September, and they are amazing. Legitimately actual perfection time and time again without question these are all must-haves and dare we say works of art as we are artfully moving over to v4 mirai now producing their fourth upcoming debut preview teasing here and saying chaos mayhem yes please you can run but you can't hide from all this fun v4 mirai here officially with vtuber debut announcement here in a flash for vtubers shining bright hashtag voltail electrifying info coming soon v4 mirai officially calling this their fourth generation. Also celebrating this weekend was Serenity Cosmica. Being you back on the seventh saying happy birthday to our favorite girly pot bunny girl. Well, today with Production Kawaii, we have Lethe Bonapushi going on to celebrate her birthday. Production Kawaii saying please bake lots of sweet cakes for her today. As along with Globy, we have Kumanue Miel, the French otaku bear. We'll be saying happy birthday to our cuddly bear. Be sure to wish Miel a very happy birthday. Also celebrating her day with new merchandise sets saying get an acrylic standee stationary set and voice pack with a bonus postcard for purchasing the bundle happy birthday Miel! we hope you have an amazing day this all while and this past weekend was saying farewell that being to kilia kuriyami and saying thank you kilia for sharing your beautiful songs with us ripples of your continuing melody will stay in our hearts long after you return to the sea that is who was partying it up this weekend was face connect face connect here with the summer camp stating here is where i've wanted to be forever together an upbeat song about spending the magic of summer with your friends check out phase connects summer camps first original song endless sunset also kicking off event merch pre-orders commemorate your time at phase summer camp with swimsuit merchandise large standees are back along with extra long wall scrolls orders close on october 6th then a wall busy this weekend was bow the whale scuttling along here with be not afraid last week polling 
should I drop song of the year this Saturday? 43% of respondents saying no. I love gargling balls. Val replying to that with, I was 14% away from canceling my chibi debut and original song because I underestimated how much you people love gargling balls. That song being Burst My Bubble, now live, quote unquote, everywhere. Val saying this is a song dedicated to a community that loved her even when she wasn't able to love herself. And alongside that animated music video, we had a new look for Val. This new chibi bow coming by way of Maddie's design and Nami's illustration, saying I'm very happy and honored to have worked with so many talented people on this project. Congrats on your debut, Val. That model also being rigged by the Diariku. Oh, while Val is also here with Become Pesonini today. Birth with Love by Chica and brought to life by the Rigor Mortis Guild member Kira Omori. As originally designed by Uni, become a whale puppy hybrid today by downloading this free VTuber model, including 16 toggles and expressions such as USA mode and Blueberry mode. Val also announcing pre orders for her new 1 7 scale figure, stating armpit and feet enjoyers rejoice. No jars allowed. Those orders being made through Novel Horizons. Once again, we are waiting any up update in regards to their situation with horror streamer Grammy. Double Horizon still once again in possession of the inventory of Hot Sauce that had originally been owned by Grammy's Hot Sauce company Saucy Biz, but this time Novel Horizons seemingly keeping that inventory for themselves and no further updates being given as to what their plans are for that Hot Sauce inventory. For along today, we also had Snuffy stating, I'm already oozing for Halloween. Seen getting stabby here. As who is taking a stab at even more things VTubers say is our co-host, Cody. Take it away. There was a leak. We kick off today's segment with Regloss of Hololive Device, who are celebrating their first anniversary this week with a stream on September 10th, promising to make a super reported announcement. This announcement was leaked by accident. In a now deleted tweet, one user who was in Shibuya happened to come across a poster advertising a Regloss event and posted it online. This event had not been officially announced yet, with the user unaware they were further leaking the information. Due to the mix-up, the store made a formal apology and posted to their social network account saying, Recently, a serious incident occurred at HMV Books Shibuya, in which undisclosed information was leaked due to human error. We deeply apologize to all event participants and to Cover Corp for any inconvenience caused. We are currently removing all unreleased information, and in addition to prevent recurrence, we will review our systems and procedures and make every effort to ensure it does not happen again. Over in Korea, Regloss fans have worked together to get ads out for the group at Hapjong State in celebration of their first year with Hololive. Meanwhile, the Regloss girls get a feature in Comptic Magazine, where they look back at their journey so far and talk about some of the behind-the-scenes stories from when the band was formed. The girls have taken to Twitter to show their gratitude for all the support they have received over the year. Ichijo Ririka released her first original song, Kyomo Dai Tensai, and Todoroki Hajime released her song titled Bancho, which is a 30-minute compilation song featuring Hajime saying all of her favorite phrases. While dancing in various famous environments, such as the set for Virtual Insanity and Hotline Bling. Hajime went on to post a green screen version so fans can place her wherever they want to. But if you're looking for more from Device, you can find them in the form of a Derry voice pack, where multiple talent are involved with providing voices for the various types. Moving on, we check out some new outfits, starting with everyone's favorite nurse, Yuzuki Choco. Choco teased a new outfit due for release on September 4th, giving fans a little hint at the theme, showing off some keys, a tie, and straps, and then going on to reveal her police-themed outfit to fit both her long and short hairstyles. Additionally, as part of the celebrations, Choco released her eighth original song alongside an MV, while also launching her first album titled Birth Song of Destruction. The album is packed with six years of songs and an exclusive ASMR voice pack when purchasing the CD. Next, we take a look at Akai Hato, who took to social media to say it's been four years since the birth of Hachima. In order to become stronger, I got a new body, taking to stream to show Hatons just how strong she's become as she introduces a new persona. Her sportswear with removable jacket, headphones, and a new hairstyle with her bangs up, revealing a forehead big enough to play tic-tac-toe on, which Matsuri couldn't resist doing. Additionally, Chamao went on to announce a new competition, asking fans to dance to her song, Ban RTA, and providing the choreography for people to learn. In other updates, we move on to Gen Zero, who was celebrating seven years with Hololive with a 3D live concert. Ray of Jewelry was filled with mashups of originals from the group, with collaborations of Gen Zero singing each 
each other's songs, such as Aski singing Sweet Say Soiree. Together, the girls sang big numbers as they performed Capture the Moment, which staff member Nodoka called the performance very moving. Alongside the concert celebrations, a pop-up shop will appear at eight different Tower Records stores. There, fans can pick up pixel art merch for the Gen Zero talent. Meanwhile, Raku Spa will be running their Gen Zero collab up until October 2nd, where you can pick up exclusive towels of the girls in a towel and Suisei in a bathrobe. Sui Chanwa Kyomo Kawaii has announced her own special merch, that being a pair of wireless headphones from Anima. The headphones come with special Suisei voice lines, such as her saying, see you again, have a nice day, in English, as you turn off the headphones. This launch coincides with the release of the music video for Midnight Grand Orchestra's Allegro. Suisei took to Twitter to say, please enjoy the beautiful animation. And if you wanted even more Suisei, there's an additional collab with 1990. She joins Marine and the streetwear brand to mix the street scene of the 90s with subcultural tastes. All of the designs are available at 1990 stores as well as the official Hololive shop. In other merch updates, we visit Hololive gamers as Good Smile are now taking pre-orders for Happy Coats featuring the talent and are also taking orders for a brand new Okami Mio figure. Moving on, we turn to Hololive ID as Anya Malfisa took to social media to announce a new hairstyle straightening her hair for a sleeker look. Also getting a new hairstyle is Pavolia Reine. Do I need to censor this or, or just in case? Who revealed a brand new outfit as well with accessories such as a gun, a monocle and a cape. The new design is firing up the neurons for some fans. Oh, this needs to be censored. As Landak Deus creates this piece, firing off the neurons for me and now you. Reine went on to perform her first official 3D birthday concert titled Bird's Night Out, where she performed a DJ set and brought on bird themed guests such as Kiara and Louis, as well as the rest of Holoro. Koreji Oli is one talent featured in an upcoming collab with World of Tanks Blitz, who went on to tease their Hololive collab saying, very cutesy, very demure, very Hololive. And then going on to show off the full lineup of talent, which will also include Hololive JP and EN. Meanwhile, more ID girls have been added to the official Hololive card game, as Muna Hoshinova gets two cards added to the boosters on September 20th, as does Irani Yo15 and Vestia Zeta. Finally, here's a roundup of some of the songs you may have missed in the last week, starting with Nekomata Okayu, who released a cover of Bakineko. Tokina Sora released her song titled Welcome Home to celebrate her seventh anniversary. Amane Kanata released a cover of Mesmerizer and is joined by the now graduated Aqua. And Ayame released the MV for her original song, Melting. Moving on to the boys, Rika collabs with Yusuke to sing a cover of My First Story. Aruran released a cover of Bling Bang Bang Born. And so did Hololive EN's Gerard T. Rexford, while Gavis Bettle releases a cover of Last game. But that's everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you so much, Cody. Also, another update from our co-host, Lady. This weekend, releasing her music video and rendition of Loser Baby, saying amazing vocals by Lazo Shen and mixing by Mr. Fox. All art was done in CSP and animated in live 2D. We have the link for that video down below. Go check it out. As that is all for this episode, as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord, as we'll have more more things VTubers say for you soon. And all regloss flan flat redo. Sweet joins Marine and the sweet wet redo. Sweet joins Marine and the sweet street sweet sweet oh, redo. Ah. Titled Birds Night Out redo. I think that was too British. Meanwhile, more ID girls have been added to the official Hololive card game. Card card game game card game card game redo. Tokina Sora released a re redo. Rika collabs with Iris I Iresu Iris Iresu Yusuke Iresu 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 redo. Rika collabs with Yusuke Yusuke redo. 